guys, it's Maureen here. Today we are going to take a look at this latent epicure salt and pepper grinder. Uh, we're gonna take a look at what's in the box, how you put it together, how you fill it, and how well it works. It's got some cool features, um, including its own little stand and a light. So stay tuned and let's take a look. All right, so when you get the box, you can see that this is a battery operated salt and pepper mill set from Latent Epicure. It's got an image of what it looks like. It's got the brand name, some branding information, oops, and then just a reminder on the side of what it is again. So let's take a look inside the box. It's nicely. Nicely packaged, bubble wrapped so that it will not get scratched because it's got that nice stainless exterior. And then this is just a nice little um, stand that you can put it on. So it keeps, once you've started grinding, it keeps you from getting you know any kind of a mess on your table. So that's really cool looking. Let's see how we get it operating and get it going. And then also inside the box are a nice set of directions. I always like when, when directions come with an item. I do not like the new trend of making people go online to get directions on how to get started. So I appreciate that this is actually included in the box. So it's got your getting started information and your warranty information as well as the website where I'm sure you can go if you do in fact lose this. But it's pretty straightforward. So I think once you've used it, you will, um, you're will you not really going to need it again. So the battery installation, they have real clear one, two, three steps. So let's take a look and get some batteries in these so we can try them out. Okay, so we're gonna turn it so that the two lines meet. So once you do that, the top very gently lifts off and the batteries, four AA batteries, go right in there. And look at that, we just happen to have four AA batteries right here. So let's put those in, very clearly marked uh, where the positive and negative ends go, which I also appreciate. Then once you have the batteries in, you just pop the top right back on and that nifty line helps you figure out where it needs to go. Oop. <laughs> you just turn it, and then once you're ready to operate it, push the top button so you can see that we put them in right. So now we're gonna take a look at filling them. And again, the instructions are super clear, just four bullet points, they even give you a picture. But it's really pretty self-explanatory. I love how easy they make this, it's clearly labeled. You have a lock and an unlock, you simply slide the arrow to unlock and lift it off. And here you have the window where you can put your spices. Um, I picked up some pink Himalayan salt, which I like to use, as well as some gourmet peppercorns. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these both with the Himalayan salt and the peppercorns. Super easy, so we have both of them filled, and I'll tell you there's nothing that beats the flavor of fresh ground salt and fresh ground pepper. So this is gonna be a huge treat, and it's so easy to use. Easily push the button with one hand to grind, and there's also this um, cool feature that I need to show you. On the bottom, there is a light, so if you're having a romantic candlelit dinner, you can see how much salt or pepper you're putting 
on your food as well as an adjustment so that you can choose how you would like it ground. If you'd prefer it a little bit more coarse or a little bit finer, you can adjust that yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna put a piece of white paper here so you can actually see the pepper. So as you can see, I'm easily doing this just with one hand, just a simple push of the button, and you can see the light reflecting on the paper. And there you go with your pepper. You've got perfect control over how much pepper you want on your food, as well as how thick or how coarse or fine you would like it. You can adjust it just with that little adjustment on the bottom. And if you'd like more pepper, there you go. Okay, let's take a look at the salt grinder. Um, I'm going to do it straight on the table just because it shows up better because it's dark. So again, one finger touch. And look at that. Let's see if I can do it on angle so you can see. See? Beautifully ground. It does come out a little bit faster than the pepper, but that's true of most salt and pepper. And again, you can adjust the coarseness if this is a little bit too powdery for your liking. You can just change it right on the grinder itself and get it exactly the way you want.